important tool for any precision rifle shooter, really anybody who wants to shoot you know, long range, is a Kestrel. I have a Kestrel 5700 Elite. I want to go over some quick tips on that. So hit the start button. It's going to go through the menu. It'll show you your applied ballistics, your battery, and then we'll get into the main screen. To get in a quick down and dirty shooting solution, you want to use Kestrel's crush methodology. That is capture your range direction. So we're going to go here. We'll hit the capture button. We're pointed down range there. Um, and then we're going to range the target. And we'll go to our gun. We have a target set up at 850. And then we're going to update our wind direction right now. We've got a little going left to right. It's about... Eh, it's less than a mile an hour, so we're not going to count for that. Uh, and then we're going to update our environment. So we'll scroll down here to environments. We'll go into the program. We'll unlock it. You spin it to clean out the thermometer. We have an update of 82 degrees. We want to make sure we lock it in. So temperature is 81, and then your relative humidity is 80%. After that, the last part is the H, and that's hit your target. So then you'll go up in to whatever your target distance is. You'll have an accurate wind adjustment as well as an elevation adjustment. Feed that into your system, apply the fundamentals, and you should get an impact. Thanks, and have a good one. If you got any questions, let us know and check us out at Big Daddy Unlimited. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start building the profile up for John's gun for his Kestrel. First thing we need to do is get velocity data. So John's going to go ahead and fire five rounds over this magneto speed. When you're ready, John. Guy's got the guy's got targets. He's got the target. And that one. Okay. Go ahead, unload. So looking at the velocity data here, the average was 2573. Your standard deviation was 30. So for factory ammo, it's okay. Uh, Hand-loaded ammunition and higher grade match ammunition will be significantly better in your uh, standard deviation. So we'll go ahead, hop over to the phone, and we'll feed all this in and build a profile. All right, so right now these two are linked together. We're going to go into gun profile management. Hit plus. Name of this rifle. Uh, we'll go mod. Oh, we'll delete that. Model one. Okay, we're going to select from bullet library. We're going to go to 224. And what ammo is this, John? Hornady match. So, Hornady 73 grain ELD. We'll go to Hornady. <clears throat> Look through their catalog. We'll go to the ELD section. 73 grain. We'll select that. Uh, I always run a G7. So, throw a G7 on there. That'll fill in your diameter, your weight, your ballistic coefficient, all that. We're going to go down here to muzzle velocity. We'll back that off. We're going to reference this number, 2573. Set your zero range to 100 yards, not 100 meters. Uh, bore, sights, bore height is already set at 2.75. Twist rate on that gun is a 1 and 8. Everything else is done, so we're going to save that. And then we're going to do select. Turn that on and then send profile. And now it's Bluetoothing it over. We're going to overwrite it. So that way, John's gun. If you look at gun here in a second. Model one. So there you go. Now we'll go ahead and we'll get John set up. We'll get him on a shot at 300 yards. So hang with us. All right, so we've come down to the 300 yard range. We just got a zero. We just got his velocity data. So now we're gonna use his Kestrel to go ahead and put data on the gun. So John, what does your 300 yard elevation adjustment say? 1.64. Okay, so first thing John's gonna do, he's gonna go ahead and put 1.6 on the gun. Next thing he's gonna do is then adjust his parallax. So parallax is important, especially adjusting at yard line. During a match, you're never gonna adjust it. You're going to learn to you know, shoot out of parallax, but here we're going to try to set ourselves up for success. So John's got everything fed in. He's got his elevation. He's got his parallax adjustment. 
you go ahead and make sure the rifle is level as well. So you can do that by looking over his optic and leveling the turret with the world. And then when you're ready, go ahead and load. Okay. John's got the gun bridged into his shoulder, putting forward pressure on the bipod. When you're ready, break two clean, concise shots using that breathing profile we talked about earlier. That's an impact. One more for good luck. That's an impact, go ahead and safe. And just like that, we went from an unzeroed gun, getting velocity data, building a rifle profile, to getting a hit at 300 yards. And this same thing can be done stretched out at distance. You wanna make sure you go through and verify your dope holds out at distance. But yeah, super simple, really easy. We appreciate it. If you have any questions, you need anything, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email and check us out at Big Daddy Unlimited.